FastAPI and Flask are two of the most popular Python API frameworks on the market. However, they essentially are solving the same problem. So which one should you use for your project and which one should you use to set yourself up for success? In this video, we will be solving that exact question by breaking down FastAPI and breaking down Flask into three main categories. The three main categories will be one, performance, which I have done quite a bit of benchmark testing for. Two, the ease of learning. Based on you and your project, what should you choose and what should you spend your time on? And three, which is the overall community, because you don't want to go all in on a framework that isn't supported, or maybe it's dying. If you're new to the channel, my name is Eric Roby. I'm a software engineer with over a decade of experience, and I've helped thousands of developers learn and grow within their craft. So last month, I wanted to settle the debate on performance of using FastAPI and using Flask. So I set up the ultimate benchmarking environment using an AWS high performance EC2 instance. This instance included C5.4x large using 16 virtual CPUs, 32 gigabytes of RAM, a solid state drive, and SQLite 3 because I didn't want database latency to get in the way. Both Flask and FastAPI were set up to call a slash users endpoint where they needed to query the database and then optimize the response. Therefore, we were targeting input and output as well as CPU optimization. The goal was simple. It was to simulate a typical API workload using concurrent requests. I used work WRK as a HTTP benchmarking tool to get these results. When we look at latency for the same exact stuff, we can see that fast API latency was three times faster than flask. And then it got a little bit less than three times faster for 500 users. And then it was almost three times faster again for 1000 concurrent users. So the overall metric for this was we can see that the latency was significantly less than flask on a benchmark testing tool. Therefore, the overall winner for performance in this benchmarking tool set was fast API. Now, if we go ahead and we dive into ease of learning, both fast API and flask are relatively easy to learn compared to many other frameworks on the market. But fast API does come with some extra tools automatically. Now these extra tools do help tremendously when creating production ready applications. The tools that I'm referring to that comes automatically with fast API is like Pydantic for data validation and Python type hints and annotations, asynchronous requests, dependency injection, and a few other libraries that automatically get imported with fast API. Now, in my opinion, all these are really good things to be included. However, for new individuals or people trying to just learn something quickly, these can become overwhelming and troublesome. So flask might be the better option there. Now, if you just need something super small, like a really, really quick endpoint that doesn't come with anything crazy out of the box, well, then flask is probably what you want to use. So if we go ahead and look at when we want to use each, we can see that the learning curve for flask is very easy to get started while fast API requires a bit more due to modern Python annotations and type hints and all that kind of stuff. Setup for flask is shorter and smaller than fast API because once you start using fast API, you need to learn about data validation and dependency injection and all that kind of stuff to really be able to use fast API to its fullest. Now, when it comes to like data validation, like I said, it's not applicable for flask and Pydantic comes automatically with fast API. When it comes to scalability, um, they're both very similar in the idea of they consume a request and return a response, but for just generic scalability of just like adding more things to a project, fast API comes with a lot more to start with. So you need to install a lot more third party libraries probably depending on your application with Flask. Therefore, due to complete simplicity here, we're gonna give the edge to Flask because Fast API comes with additional features that are only really needed for medium and large projects. Now, the third point is quite interesting, and this is the community behind both projects. And this is actually like really hard to judge. The best way to do this analysis is comparing GitHub stars and then the overall SEO. Fast API is leading with 75 0.6 thousand GitHub stars while Flask is at 67.6 thousand GitHub stars. So they are both really, really popular. So it's hard to just give the edge to one or the other. But what we can see is that Flask started way before Fast API. And we can see that it started really getting more popular around 2014. But we can see that Flask is slowly getting more steam way, way earlier. And it started kind of flattening out. And I 
really think this is because it does one thing and that's taken APIs and return data. There's not too much stuff that it's really doing. While Fast API is continually improving in what comes with it, it has a lot more meat, I guess you can say, like inside the framework itself. And it wasn't really getting popular or even created until like 2018. So we can see in this graph that Fast API has had like a torpedo vertical scale of popularity from really starting like 2018 until now. SEO is really hard to compare because Flask also means um, in the English like dictionary, it also means like container. So when you're trying to do like SEO searches, a lot of times when you type in like Flask, it's also bringing up like container or like a little thing you can like hide in your pocket while fast API really only means one thing. So it's hard to really narrow down the SEO here. So because of that, I'm going to say it's really just a tie because I would say Flask is probably like a higher search term, um, but Fast API has more GitHub stars. Now, since it's a tie, I know uh, it's a tie, but in my case, I would almost always use Fast API due to the added features like data validation and the performance increase you get. However, there are some cases where you may actually prefer Flask. And now that you have this information, you can make the better choice on what you want to use. Both are crazy popular, but in my opinion, I would probably stick with Fast API.